What's up, dude? It's EJ from MyPathToSelf.com here. Wanted to record a video because I am trying to get back in the swing of recording every single day. Uh, it might take me a while to get to every single day, but I'm going to try to do at least every single other day. And not only that, I am I'm going to put some serious effort into uploading these videos immediately after immediately after recording them like I used to. Problem right now is uh, I don't have cell phone service and uh, my my YouTube is linked to my Google and my Google is linked to my phone number that is off right now. And uh, basically I'm locked out of posting them via my phone so I have to put them on my computer and uh, it's it's just a, it's a hassle. But you know what's, what, all, what else is a hassle is thinking about things that you know I, I say I'm going to do especially when I record them on video and you guys watch and then I don't follow through on them I probably look like a total you know retard like I mean this whole channel is about motivation and becoming the best version of yourself and you can't really do that if you're not following through on everything you say or at least the the big majority of things that you say <laughs> anyways topic of the day here is a uh, is a uh, using your head versus using your heart, you know? And uh, I got this concept originally from Gary Vaynerchuk, who those of you who are serious entrepreneurs will know as the guy who started Wine Library TV. Now he does Ask Gary V Show on uh, YouTube all the time. I'll try to post the link below, I really enjoy it. Uh, you know, he has all kinds of guests and they talk about the music business and uh, different different industries and how to market different industries. And uh, he's really big on social media. He's I've learned a lot from him and uh, he's a pretty cool guy. I mean, at least to watch. I haven't met him in person yet. But he always talks about how most people market using their head and that is the reason they fail is they use their brain too much. They don't use their heart enough and uh, that causes a lot of problems for people. And uh, while I am a very head brain oriented guy, I'm a very, uh, you know, I like using big words and I like studying things and I like science and chemistry and psychology and all of these things. I'm a really smart guy, I've always been a smart guy, but up until very recently, I've been, uh, my one of my biggest weaknesses is, uh, you know, following my emotions uh, blindly, you know, like, uh, like I, I get like a feeling that I want to do something and you know, don't get me wrong. I'll go all out and I will do everything, everything I can in my power to make that thing happen or to make it a reality for myself. But the problem is, is that I don't think about it first. I, I react pretty much compulsively based on my emotions and my feelings. And, uh, it gets me into trouble a lot. Like, uh, well, I mean, not so much recently, but in the past, it has gotten me into trouble a lot. You know, I, uh, I've uh, felt trapped to people taking advantage of me because I trust people too easily. I'll, I mean, you know, you just say the right thing and and I'll fall for it. I mean, I will. I, I'm better at it now, especially. But I was talking about it today. Someone mentioned on uh, the Badass Mentor Retreat Facebook group, the group I started in Vegas. We're now almost at 150 members, which is impressive to me because uh, that first day that I started it, I think we were only at like 60. So it's more than doubled. It's extremely active. There's probably 20 posts on there a day. I mean, like, not like replies to posts, but actual posts, different people posting things and asking questions. And it's, it's almost gotten away from me, just like how, how big it's gotten, how successful it's gotten. And uh, I have people hitting me up on Facebook all the time from all over the world saying, hey, what's up? You're the guy who started the group, right? And uh, it's, it's, it's a trip. Like, I'm like a little mini celebrity in this little world of this Facebook group that I created. So uh, that's pretty cool. But um, someone posted on there today, they were asking, I mean, all pretty much every single member of the group is a guy because uh, you know, the Badass Mentor Retreat was started by Jason Capital, who was a dating coach for guys. And so just based on, based on that alone, you know, most of the members are guys. I'm pretty sure all of them are guys, actually, to be honest. But someone asked, you know, whether the other guys in the group date casually or they are more into serious relationships. And I said that, you know, in the past, I've always been a long-term relationship kind of guy. I have not been one really into, you know, one night stands and flings. Of course I've had them. I mean, I don't know anyone who hasn't, but you know, that's not, that's not where I put the majority of my focus during my entire life. You know, I put 
put it into serious relationships because I care about people and I like knowing that I'm cared about and uh, I don't feel like like I get the same level of that uh, in, in a casual relationship, you know? And if I do start feeling that way in a casual relationship, then it's not very casual, right? So I told him on there, I said, I mentioned all that, you know, my past and stuff like that. And I said, well, nowadays, you know, I have very specific standards for the type of people, especially girls or potential significant others that I let into my life because I know, I know who I am. I know that, you know, I am, I'm a, not sensitive. I, what's the word? I know that I am very responsive emotionally and I know that I fall very easily uh, you know, given given the right girl, and uh, it's it always causes problems, and then we end up breaking up, and then I end up getting depressed, and it's no good, right? So, right now, I am single, and I am super fucking like, pardon my language, super happy about it because it's not it's not even a concern to me right now. You know, uh, when I was when I was a teenager, I always thought, you know, oh, I got to be in a relationship, and when I was single, I felt like crap. I'm like, oh, no one likes me, blah 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 and uh you know put me into a victim mentality and just a, a series of unfortunate events caused by this whole being single and not knowing what the hell to do with myself kind of thing so um where am i going with this oh yeah talking about heart versus head so lately i've been focusing on you know using my emotions you know like gary v says you know use your heart and uh you know that's the best way to get through to people but you have you can't just blindly follow your emotions you have to uh you know rationalize your emotions with logic and uh you know that's it, it makes all the difference it's made a lot of difference for me lately uh you know it's the difference between uh i got another story for you guys i don't want to make it too long but those of you guys who have been watching me for a while know that i was involved in some ebay shit um from like January to March of this year, something like that. Long story short, the asshole business partner I had uh, thought it would be a good idea to just, you know, dip out and uh, screw me over pretty much and steal a bunch of my money, right? And uh, typically, you know, I'm not a I'm not a violent person, but I <laughs> let me let me say, like I I would love I would love to kick some ass, you know, if I had seen this guy in person again recently or. Like if, if I saw him walking down the street right now, I would probably stop this video and this would turn into a me kicking the shit out of some guy video. But <laughs> this is where the head comes in because uh, you know I posted about this on the Facebook group because it's not just like a it's not just like a circle of friends, it's not your typical Facebook group. It's like like all of these guys, I mean the I mean the the ones I've met, you know, they care about each other and they want to help each other and they want each other to be happy. And so I know that when I have a problem that one of them has likely faced, I can post about it and I can ask what advice they have for me on that particular problem. And uh, in this in this case, you know, I just had a choice between okay, do I do I pursue this thing? Basically, the guy hit me up today. I've been I haven't talked to him in like a month and a half, and he hit me up, and like the email, the uh, subject of the email was like. PayPal fra fraud, important, read, whatever. So I read it and he's accusing me of like hacking into his PayPal and stealing $40. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, dude, you stole like thousands of dollars from me. Like what the fuck? Like I pissed $40, I'm broke as shit right now. But I will give, like if, if someone, if, like if I saw like a kid walking down the street that was hungry, I would fucking give them $40. And I have no money. Like I would, I would find it. I would pull it out of my ass or something. Forty dollars is nothing. Why am I going to risk hacking into a major corporation like PayPal to steal your forty dollars? You need it way more than I do. Clearly. So, <laughs> sorry, I don't want to get angry here. The whole point is that you know, not only did he accuse me of something that is completely, completely irrationally out of character for me, but then he threatened to report me to PayPal's fraud department. Uh, the funny thing is he doesn't know that my account is actually already frozen right now for uh, what they believed was fraud. It was actually them trying to pull money off of a card that I no longer use. But that is totally besides the point. 
but the, the whole point of this, <laughs> I know I'm getting on a tangent, I always do this, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm talkative today and I'm energetic and I was angry earlier and then I was happy again because <laughs> when I switched from the emotional side of things, wanting to kick this guy's teeth in, uh, what, what he has left of teeth, he's, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna insult him a lot, like, you know, just uh, bear with me here, but you know, I switched from wanting to beat the shit out of him to wanting nothing to do with it. Literally, like, I would rather take, like, the choice was either I bring him to small claims court, try to prove that he stole money from me, which, I mean, knowing the judicial system, the whole legal fucked up arena of courts and judges and prosecutors and all that shit, like, I know that you know, it's very likely that I probably wouldn't even be able to prove it, like, without, beyond a shadow of a doubt. And so I'd probably lose the case, and I'd spend a ridiculous amount of time, uh, possibly a bunch of money, more money, and uh, it would, basically, it's not a win, it's not a winning situation for me. You know, I've already given him three, three months of my time, and the way I see it is, those three months of my time, I was not working anywhere else. I had time to sit at home, to read, to learn, to work on myself, to get better, to become this person. Like, seriously, if you go into my channel right now, seriously, dude, if you go into my channel right now, look at me six months ago. See what the difference is. No, no shit. Seriously, like, I don't care. Stop this video right now. Go look at my channel six months ago. I am a different person. And uh, <laughs> I'm happy about it. You know, I'm, I am a better person. Uh, I'm still not the best version of myself. I'm working on it. But the point is, I'm, I'm above that now. I'm above kicking the shit out of this guy. He stole some money from me, sure, you know? But I'm gonna make a shit ton more money in the future, in the very near future. And I may or may not, you know, make sure he knows very much that, you know, he screwed over the wrong person and that he lost out on a big opportunity. But at the same time, I don't have the time of the day for it. I, don't, I really, literally do not want to, anything to do with them. Uh, you know, he already wasted enough of my time and I don't like being angry. So I'm just forgetting about him. He doesn't exist to me anymore. And uh, this video is me taking that memory of him, putting it on the internet and saying, fuck you and I'm done with it. So that's all I wanted to say. Basically, whole moral of all of these stories that I'm talking about right now is use your head, use your heart first, but then consider your heart or your, uh, what, what your heart wants you to do and act based on that. Use your heart, use your head, use it all, man. You got, you got so many different, you know, brain parts and, and all these things. You have an incredible system of, you know, physiological and biological and chemical and all these different reactions going on in your body at all times. And you have access to every single one of them. Use them to your full capability. And the best way to do that is to use them together. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, if you want more of me ranting about some random shit, possibly teaching you some life lessons, you know, click the subscribe button below. And, uh, you know, I appreciate it if you would leave a comment or a thumbs up. And uh, anyways, I will catch you guys later.